and speaking of phase two, what, what we're going to hand out here is our phone response checklist. So we've tried to spend a lot of time going through all the stuff we need to know when in this phone call. In like not because we need to compartmentalize where everyone goes, but in order to be able to effectively follow things up. So like Angie said, are they local or not? And so um, maybe should we pass these yeah, out and then I'll, I'll I'll talk talk to it so you can be reading it at the same time. So we'll pass those around there. So. Yeah, but if they don't want to, like that's their call. Exactly. We we, we yeah, can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I'm talking about when it comes to entering into new things. I'll just sit and say part of me. Saying if I was entering, yeah, exactly. exactly. Like you just you. It, <laughs> obviously, this is a framework. It's a system because we need systems to empower us. But everyone who we deal with will be a, a human, and everyone doing this will be using common sense like we're not dealing with robots we're dealing with people um, but this gives us a system and uh, a framework and also what I think the key with this for me is it gives you a clear idea of knowing what what the the goal is or what your outcome is that you're you're aiming for if that makes sense um, so if you have a look at that um, that sheet that's right in front of you so people watching by video we're looking at the phone response uh, checklist the goal, this is basically just a flow chart of, of what you need to determine when you talk to them on the phone. The goal will be to get to, see the green box down the bottom that says connect. Because that means, connect means I, I want to find out more about you and can Cam or Josh or Angie or Graham or so and so, could they give you a call and actually become your buddy and walk this out side by side with you? But in order to get to that place, there's a few boxes we need to tick and a few things we need to find out about them because we don't know if that actually works. So we start off at the top. Number one, what is their response? So you already know this because it was on the card that you'll be given. And so if they're either A, B or C, I'm still exploring, I'm ready to start following Jesus or I'm coming back to Jesus, that's over the left-hand side and they go into that, that purple box there. If they're D, if they're refreshing their commitment to Jesus, there's a box we need to go through first. So we'll go through that. So if they're refreshing their commitment to Jesus, first we need to say, well, do you have a home church? Because we are not in the business of pinching people from other churches. That's not what this, <laughs> that's not what this um, event is about. <laughs> you know, it's not free agency period. This is not. <laughs> and so. Where if they're refreshing their commitment to Jesus, you know, they may have been a Christian for 20 years and they just came out and responded anyway, which is great, and I'm glad they've been ministered to. We want to first ask them, hey, do you have a home church? And if they do, so if they see, if you see in that box on the, the right hand side, do you have a home church? If it's a, if they say yes, we'll say great. We're encouraging you to go to your home church, go and connect with them because that's your home, that's where you're fed. Um, the last question we'll ask them there is, can we call your pastor? Because we'd love to connect with your pastor and say, hey this person came and responded, we'd just love to help you be able to connect in there and walk through this journey with your home church. So if they say yes, that's great. Just make a note of what their church and who the pastor is, um, and then, then we'll follow that up. If they say no, <laughs> if they say no, then that's fine. That's up to them. We sort of say, well, God bless you. Go, you know, We hope you go and enjoy that. That's fine. Um, but if they say no, I don't have a home church, you'll see that arrow heads over to the left-hand side, and now they're back in this big purple box with the, the same as the A, B, and C. So these people come, we say, did you come with a friend? Because it's important for us to know where did you come from? Um, if they say, no, I didn't come with a friend, you see that jumps right into the middle. We say, are you local? So are you from around here? If they are from around here, we say, that's great. Can we connect with you? You don't, you're not tied to another church. You're not tied to anything else. You've committed to follow Jesus. You're from our area. Could I connect you with Cam? You know, or would you be interested in meeting young single Joshua? Or something yeah, along those lines. Obviously, by the time you get that point, and you, you know, there's more chatting around, and you, you can find it. You have to know sort of roughly their age, whether they're male or female, and things like that. You know, they're married, single, things that, things that might help you to connect them with someone. So we haven't put all that thing, oh, where's the box of married or single? Married, married or single. <laughs> that, that's, that's sort of for you to use your wisdom and discretion to sort of sort through. All you really do is 
if they because sometimes like if they go to another church we actually don't need to know the information yeah. do you know what mm. I mean but it's only if it gets to the point where oh, okay we need to really try and connect so we need to define you know refine it to the point where we can recommend someone that was more suitable for them yeah and obviously we're going to do this in wisdom if if it's a young female we're not going to get her meeting we on one with the young male that would be foolish sorry josh <laughs> <laughs> sorry jay bad luck mate um and so we will be finding age appropriate and gender appropriate buddies for them 2019 Kayla. so we are going to be finding um suggesting um, buddies for them who would be, you know, appropriate. appropriate. Yeah. Same demographic. Yeah. Can I ask just a question? Just back to the church. If on the phase one, you've got, you've obviously been had a chat with somebody individually, oh, and you find out A, they're with a friend, or B, they're going off on church, would we cut the phone call, or would you still go through the process? That, that's a great point. And what we'd, we'd love to do is in that if you're part of that phase one process of actually connecting with people live and praying with them remember they will have all filled this in yeah. we would love you to if if you do get to pray with someone or share it, learn anything about them like that grab their card and just write some notes on here or on the back so that we, we can straight away say oh this person like i said either they have a home church we know that or they came with a friend and they're they're doing this because that that it, it immediately gives us a head start in phase two um what you could also say is you know there's a you know maybe judith you get to pray with a, a lady for a while after the you know after the ministry time so you would write on her card judith prayed with her for quite a while about you know not too personal but you know just just saying that so immediately when we get this card and we get to hers we're going to say oh can we connect you to judith <laughs> because you already know her. Do you know what I mean? You've already been praying with her and, and she's already got a head start on this process. So anything you, you learn about someone or you connect with someone in that initial phase, it would be really, really helpful to, to jot that on their card. Yeah. Um, when you, with that like, initial prayer and stuff like that, for like, just meeting them in phase one, would it, do you also want things like, as you said, like gender, age, married and stuff like that? Do you want to also put that those details down there because those could be ones that are Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you had, if, 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 they, if they give, yeah, if they if they give you the card and they're walking off, you're free to say it was a male about 25. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, like that? But if the, if if someone's standing there and the cards are being handed in like that, then we're just going to have a pile of cards. Oh, yeah, obviously yeah. They're not like but that. but yeah. if yeah, but if you're if, if you just just if you get two or three cards, don't get things mixed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon probably don't like you know. If don't you, do it in if front of them. Yeah, if you're talking to them and you're like. And then, <laughs> while you're in conversation, don't be taking notes. Do you enjoy long walks on the beach? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Options open. <laughs> be something that it probably has to be in conversation because people can like want to leave home churches for all sorts of reasons do you know what i mean there are there are good valid uh, i'm sorry i'm jumping ahead of the pastor so yeah. maybe i should let you as long as they're not from our church I <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, like there are good valid reasons to leave a home church and so if they bring that up you know you're welcome to explore that and talk with them um we, we don't want to go we don't want to go stealing people because they had an emotional experience yeah. and they, and we're, they we're, go and we're the new we're, we're the new bright thing yeah. and they're you know and their church has been with them for 15 years is the old boring thing do you know what I mean we don't you know we don't want that reason yeah but we you know you, people can be being abused or all sorts of things you, know, you, you can't yeah. you can't put a blanket ruling on that and that's where I guess you got just got to do it wisdom and personal thing but you know yeah, so it's, it's, probably, be sensitive. it's probably hard to give a real hard and fast answer to but I would suppose get get God's wisdom and, and if you're not sure of any of this, you know, don't don't Kyra will answer all these questions. Yeah. <laughs> Kyra left the church. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask Kyra. But genuinely feel free, you know, if you're part of this process and they ask you, oh, I think I want to leave my home church and stuff, 
don't tell to that. you don't have to say to them no 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 we don't want you just talk to them and ask why and, and have the conversation and then feel free to come to you know like Kyra genuinely or or someone in leadership uh, but you know Kyra will be overseeing this process and say hey this person wants to leave their church I think it sounds healthy and okay it's because of good reasons um, but you know just we'll, we'll happily work with you you know it's not um, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so see, I think the the rest of the the site the checklist you got in front of you is fairly self-explanatory. The, the purple box on the left is basically for us to determine if they've come because a friend has brought them and that friend is helping them to connect into their church. Yeah. Again, we don't want to pull them away from that. So we're saying, did you come with a friend? If they say yes, mm-hmm. we say, is your friend taking you to church with them? If they say yes, we'll say, all right, that's good. Go to church with your friend because effectively their friend will be doing the, the job that Cam did for Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Their friend should be doing the buddy. But we don't want to just assume because they came with a friend that automatically happens. Yeah. Um, and so we've even we've put another question at the end there that says, hey, could I give you another call next week? Um, and if they say yes to that, or if they say no, that's the end of that, that's all right. But if they say yes, we'd love to call them back a week later and just say, hey, just wanted to check in. How did you go at church? Did you enjoy it? How did you go? And if they say, oh, I never ended up going or actually no we never talked about it I thought you know nothing happened then we can maybe start to bring them back into the process of oh well can we maybe help you to connect you know can we either help you to connect with your church and you with your friend and his church or if that's actually not something that's really happening then we'll be happy to help you connect with with phase three basically so we're, we're firstly giving their friend an opportunity to do phase three um, but if their friend doesn't take that, then we'll, we'll jump we don't in. Want to presume on that. We don't want to presume on it, and we don't want people to miss out because we're presuming on their friends. Yeah. Did you also check at that point their friend is in free rate for as well? Well, yeah, that, 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 that is, yeah, that's a given. If it says, oh, you came with your friend and your friend's taking you to church, if that's breakthrough, then they can be in phase Do three. Do you try and find out the friend's name or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. definitely. Find out the friend's name or, or what, what church that is. And, and all this will be quite conversational. And and, and I was, you know, we're doing a we're doing a sample one before we have we have some um, some some um, role play sort of people, and um, and so we're doing this together as if this was a person. And one of the things as they do, I'm sort of talking. I said, oh, did you come with a friend? Oh yeah, my friend Eric brought me. I'm just writing notes on here, mm. friend uh, Eric. And I mean, and I'm just sort of this becomes a little bit of a, a worksheet for me. So it's not just like tick the boxes, and then we've got room down the bottom for extra notes. So the whole idea is if, it, if I give it to Cam, um, you know, like you might look at this, you might get a photo of it on my phone or something, but it'll have a few notes on there as well, hopefully. Um, you know, I might say, you know, he's a bricklayer, and he, you know, da da da. And so, it, you know, anything I'm learning, I'm, I'm sort of writing notes. If I run out of room, I'll go sideways. If I run out of room, I'll say PTO and write on the back. Do you know what I mean? So you can use this to sort of put that in. But we didn't want to make it find this information out. It's it's more um, it's conversational. Yeah. Isn't it? Bring them with you. Them. Yeah. That'd be so good to have on there. Came with, you know, Eric. Here's Eric's mobile number. Oh, that that's a, a 
great bonus. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, um, yeah that's excellent. <coughs> Shall we? Um, and yeah. I think yeah. Oh, sorry. On on what Dad said too. That that's a great point. That these um, in our example with Josh before. Obviously, if I was doing Josh's call and then I end up passing him on to Cam, I would be sending um, this sheet filled in to Cam. So Cam would get this with the information. Oh, yep. Yep, this is where they're from. This is a bit of information. You see there's a bit of space for notes. It would be really helpful when you're doing these calls, people who are doing them, we'll make sure you've got at least one of these for every person you're calling. So you can actually tick the boxes, put some notes down, so that the, the person who's doing phase three has some good solid information to, I, to build on. I reckon that's what's impossible, putting extra notes in. Yeah. Like, yeah. The more like, wouldn't you hear them say, bricklayer? Cam doesn't know that. Yeah. Bricklayer's yeah. gone sort of thing. So the more things they can have going into it, the new. Exactly. Well. <laughs> that is true. I've totally done that all the way. Yeah. 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 Yep, you could be, definitely. Yeah. So should we go, um, yeah. should we do the role plays now? Let's do role plays, but yeah, they, they could be. Yep, so what, what we're gonna do now is give you guys a chance to actually practice this a bit. Like we said, not everyone in this room will be doing these phone calls, but I just feel like it's a good thing for everyone to be sort of aware of how it works, because I'm sure that everyone in this room at some point in your life will be involved in this process at some point, phase one, two or three, because this is not just for the Jesse G Planners meeting. This is a process we wanna do going forward. So. I feel like it's just good for us all to, to sort of understand it, know what it involves, and you're here now anyway. And, and even if you're the one doing phase three, just have a bit of appreciation of what the phase two person has gone through. It helps you when you get this to know what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. So what we've got, Brooke, do you want to actually hand out those little 